Hello, I hope you're doing really well. I hope your day is off to a better start than mine because I thought I'd pick up the camera today and just share with you how I kind of get out of a funk and just those days like for some reason I'm having a really bad body image day today and I just don't really feel like myself. I went and trained this morning and I did actually end up having a good session of just being mean to myself ultimately really mean to myself today i feel like i've just been in my own head and i feel like we all have these days like as much as you know like we can do all our self-work like there's going to be times emotions and you're going to have thoughts that come in that aren't always true as well so i just wanted to mention that but also just take you with me on a day like today and share how i kind of get myself out of this kind of funk it's three o'clock and i haven't had my lunch yet so i'm just going to make some food now i've just been on the phone to my friend mary who has helped so much like i think it's always nice if you're just feeling a bit of a weird kind of way out just talking to like a girl bestie is the most helpful thing i just wanted to start this vlog and just keep it super raw by the way which is also why i have a half cooked egg white i haven't had oats for breakfast so i'm gonna make some oats now i was gonna have avocado toast but I'd much rather oats. Maybe my day's not gone to plan because I haven't had my oats and I have oats every single day. I actually had chicken for breakfast. Oh my God. What is wrong with me? I was just videoing going to put this in the microwave when I meant <laughs> to put it here. <laughs> Right, now that can go in the microwave. I'm actually so happy I went with this and didn't go for the avocado toast. Ketchup, of course. This is actually really overpriced here. I think it's about four pounds, which is just mad because back home it's like, what, a pound? Can I just show you the consistency? So it's like a gooey pudding in the middle. I basically blend the oats. It's in one of my what I eat in a day videos, but I blend the oats and then I just cook it to a certain consistency where it's like cake on the outsides and then gooey in the middle. And then I've just got one whole egg with some egg whites and some tomato ketchup. <sighs> so next step is this is actually so nice by the way that i am videoing this process with you because it's also making sure i do it right here right now rather than just like delaying meditating or journaling till later in the day i don't even know what sort of triggered me today i think it'll be like the final day of my period it's not even the beginning of my cycle so i am still bleeding so it might could all just be hormones and feeling really just overwhelmed i feel so overwhelmed today just feels like my head is just full of noise and i know the one thing that helps me just calm down and like come back into myself and just chill out is meditation there's loads online i also have 10 minute ones in my app this is a new notepad that I got the other day and can we just like look how much I filled it up quarter actually in like two or three days I really like it because it's got a little pen holder here I'm going to put my headphones in for this meditation and you could do it with me if you're also in a similar headspace I'm going to do meditation from the volume two and I'm going to do a body appreciation meditation so this is 10 minutes long Oh my God, I feel like I'm floating towards the end of a meditation like that. That was so nice. The next thing I'm gonna do is literally just one journal prompt, just really simple and just write down what's going well right now in my life. And I'm just gonna list like as many things. I did this, when would it have been? Like maybe a week ago. I think it was just before I went to bed when I was just feeling a bit stressed and I was feeling like I was concentrating on stuff that just wasn't going to plan or like, I think it can be so easy, can't it? To just be worrying or you're just thinking of things that maybe aren't working now and you're beating yourself up putting unnecessary pressure unnecessary pressure on places and on yourself that just doesn't need to be there. Obviously being constructive with criticism can be great, but if it's just stopping you from moving forward and just causing more blockages, then it's not doing any phases. I know I feel like I can be really bad for that or like my inner voice can take over sometimes. It's just about keeping things in perspective as well. Like there's so much for us to be grateful for every day. 
when you ask yourself this question, you realise you have so many things that are going well. Like these can just be literally as small or as big as whatever you want. A few of mine are, I am healthy, I have a loving family, I'm an auntie, I love what I do for my work, I'm creating my dream life, I'm engaged. And you can just get really specific as well. Oh, committed, it's committed two ends. I'm committed to working on myself. Just putting on a little bit of makeup. I think I need some concealer. I'm not under eye. This might be a really horrific angle. So I'm gonna try and do just like a few, just a few nice waves, you know, with my Dyson straighteners because I feel like this is one of those things that always looks so easy on other people. Like I swear, it always comes up in my TikTok, like people doing like a wavy blow dry look with straighteners and it just looks like a one swivel wait. It'd help if I wait for them to heat up first. But uh, these are the Dyson Corral straighteners. I think I've had them like two years. They're pretty good, however, they die. Like, I feel like you get two kind of uses out of them. And they go flat really quick, but then they are portable, so they're, they're kind of handy. Although, they never really leave my house, thinking about it. But I like that there's the option, you know. All right, is this gonna work? Maybe they're not hot enough. Or maybe you need to add a little bit of pull, you know, like a bit of drag. Oh, that's nice. That's quite nice. Whether that'll stay in though is another question. I'm just gonna do a bit around the front, otherwise I'll be here all day and I need to get out of the house. I quite like that side. This is like my hard side. I feel like I can just never get it to go the same. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. I've just put a bit of makeup on. I had a hydrofacial with a derma pen, so like microneedling. It'll have been four days ago and I am so happy with the results. My scars on my cheeks have minimized. Like I just had some acne scar in here. I've mentioned it a few times I think on my YouTube, but I'm gonna go back. She recommended if you do like three or four derma pen sessions that you see really amazing results, but I wanna give it a little bit of time before I go back for another one. But I just feel like my skin looks cleaner and a lot clearer. So I've been super happy with that and it wasn't painful at all. They do use like a numbing cream. I think that probably helps, but the actual micro needling that's different to a derma pen, I think that's a little bit more deeper into the surface of your skin. This didn't feel like at all evasive. And I've got my list of what I need to get. I need to take some things back to Adidas. I bought Mesa's set, but it doesn't fit. I wouldn't mind popping into Lululemon. I really Really need to get my eyebrows threaded. My upper lip needs clearing of the hair that is on it right now. When I had my microneedling, the woman was like, oh, you have hair on your upper lip, do you want it bleached? Like, oh, we're not talking about that, please. I already feel so much better, you know, just from doing that meditation and journaling. I'm in such a different headspace just from that, and it's nice to get out. I think whenever you're not feeling completely like yourself or just not feeling your best self, shall we say, it's good to just put some makeup on, get yourself out, make sure you're dressed, don't hang around like working from home in your PJs or whatever. You just end up feeling even worse, I think, when you're that way out. But this morning was so so strange because I was training and I was just pulling myself apart. I put on an extra unnecessary, I think, did I try and lift like 110 kg? I tried to deadlift 110 kg. That was just not happening. I couldn't, there was just no way that was happening today. And then I was so annoyed at myself. I was just really like abnormal behavior for me. Yeah, I'm not having a repeat of that tomorrow. Absolutely not. But I don't know where it's come from. I feel like it's an accumulance. I've been stressed lately and not, not really like looking after myself in how I like or like think I should be, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the mall now, run some errands, get some steps in, in the process, and I'll take you along. So I'm actually on 5,000 steps and we've got about 10,000 to get today, so should be able to do that in the mall. So I've just come to Nespresso to try out some different flavors because I haven't found, since I've had this new machine, I feel like I haven't found a coffee that I actually like. So I thought I'd come and test a couple out. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Some of these taste like smoke to me, like, remind me of like a cigarette. 
popped into Lululemon and these popped right out of me. I thought I'd try some like bright pink. I actually don't usually shop here that often. Blue Align Tank. I've seen this loads in white. That's so nice actually, that is such a nice fabric. And then I got some shorts. I feel like I need some nice running shorts. I find running shorts quite difficult because it's hard to get the right length that doesn't like ride up in weird places. I feel like this will be overpriced for what it actually is. Mesh paneled, training long sleeve. Like it's just a little bit of fabric, but gorgeous at the same time. And this is the pink one. This top is not doing it. I feel like it fits across my bust, but then not anywhere else. I really do like the pink color actually. What's left of me? I love this skirt. They just don't have it in many sizes left, which is a shame. I might have a look and see if I can find it online. It like, comes out a bit like on your bum, whereas sometimes I feel like these kind of skirts can just make you look really flapped from the behind. Ooh, this is sneaky. So they've got a, an under grippy bit, so that's not gonna slide up as easily. That is such a good idea because I always find that is a bit of a problem with like a skirt because the short bit just completely does its own thing. I'm a bit hot and flustered. I've just been walking around for maybe 15 minutes on the wrong parking level. I thought I parked on parking one. I was on ground floor, but it's not a bad thing because I've got some steps in. We're on 8,600 steps. Popped into Lululemon. They've got some loads of like nice new bright colors. I'm really feeling bright at the minute. I didn't end up buying anything. I was in that mood. Like I kind of knew like my morning today, I don't know why I thought shopping or like trying stuff on would be a good idea. I just feel quite bloated and watery, which is super normal because I am on my period. And I also thought I'd share just a little strategy so if I'm having like a bad body image day where I find myself either I'm picking myself apart like physically what I like to do is like I say do the journaling meditation and just journal things that aren't to do with my body and just give myself a little check and just literally say to yourself come on woman like you're so much more than your just like exterior body we are so much more than that and also really challenge the thoughts that you are having and catch yourself I think having that self-awareness helps so much with just overcoming like more of those body image days because I used to have them a lot more often when I was younger whereas now I find I have them a lot less but they're still I feel like it's gonna be it'll be one of those things of course like we are human our bodies change every day and everything fluctuates but also like reminding yourself that as well like it's completely normal we have our cycles there's gonna be days where you feel more stodgy and just more bloated than others when I was trying to lift weights that were just too heavy and I don't know why I was doing that to myself I just said to myself like you know I'm eight I'm healthy and I'm lucky that I'm even in the gym right now I get to work out and just really switching the script up in your head rather than just focusing so much on your stomach or your arms and just thinking of like all you can do and remembering how I just think we create these scenarios in our heads that aren't even true and as well comparison like if you're finding you're going on socials a lot following people that don't make you feel good about yourself or they're like reminding or sort of triggering something just either mute the person and follow and just really protect your energy Energy as well and spend less time on social media like today I've barely gone on my phone that's another thing that I think helps if I'm just having a weird kind of day I find it so energizing just spending time in my own company doing things that fill me with energy and also when I do journaling or like brain dumping I will just write like what gives me energy one of those things for me is like move my body just getting out and about focusing on my goals and yeah just doing things that fill me up took Mason's Adidas stuff back and I bought him some like chocolate dates they're covered in a coconut there's some chocolate ones they're not sealed properly like i'm so tempted just to try something for myself but i'll save them as hard as it is I'm quite hungry now hey. close your eyes then you can open wow. mm. coconut dates mm. I'd love to stick around by subscribing and making sure you like this video. It really helps and supports my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.